Okay, so Entropic just released Sonnet 4.5, which I think is going to be one of their most consequential release. At the moment, it's the best coding model available to date. But more interestingly, it can do up to 30 hours of focused agentic coding, which really breaks the trends that we have been seeing. It also has some very interesting features. For example, it's now context aware, so it can keep track of how many tokens it has used. And it's not overzealous anymore. So it focuses on a few tasks at a time rather than trying to attempt to do everything all at once. And it's not just the model. Anthropic is actually releasing a number of different tools, including what they're calling Cloud Code SDK. They are also releasing a number of different other tools, including Cloud Agent SDK, where you can use Cloud Code in your own applications. They are also releasing Imagine with Cloud this is a new way of building software. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this release. Now, something you will notice is that the language that they're using now is very different from the blog post. So they say Cloud Sonnet 4.5 is the best coding model in the world. They're not saying that it's their best coding model. It's the strongest model for building complex agents. It's the best model at using computers and it shows substantial gain in reasoning and mathematics. So some of the updates, they have a new version of Cloud Code that has added checkpoints. According to them, this was one of the most requested features. They are also releasing a native VS Code extension, which is going to be really good, especially for people who are using VS Code. And now you also have a context editing feature and memory tool within the Cloud API. So within the Cloud API, they are introducing these new parameters. I'll probably create another video on this, but this will help you intelligently manage the context of your agent when you're using the Cloud API. And as I said in the beginning, they're also releasing Cloud Agent SDK. This is their internal tool, which you can use to build software using the Cloud SDK. But one thing, they're not changing the pricing. So this is in contrast to all the other Frontier Labs who are trying to save on cost or at least release versions that are lower at cost. They're keeping the pricing to exactly the same as they have for the previous version of Cloud Sonnet. So you're probably getting more intelligence at the same cost. And when we talk about intelligence, the main application that Anthropic is focusing is coding. And now this is the best state-of-the-art model available on market for coding-related tasks. Specifically, if you look at Sweep Bench Verified with parallel test time compute, it gets to 82%. Gemini 2.5 Pro is at 67%. We are expecting a release of Gemini 3 probably mid-October. That's hopefully is going to be able to compete somewhere here. But hands down, it beats even the previous version of Opus 4.1. This is probably the best coding model at the moment. Now, it's also specifically trained for computer use. And in fact, they say that on the OS World benchmark, that's test AI models on real world computer usage, the previous version of Sonnet 4 had an accuracy of 42.2%. Now it's 61.4%, which is almost 50% jump and that's why I think they are calling it a major version bump. This is also now powering the Cloud for Chrome. That is an extension that you can use to control Chrome browser. I think I already created a video on this. It's a pretty neat because you can assign tasks to Cloud and it will be able to do those on Chrome. So it's a very first iteration of the agentic browsing experience that is controlled by Cloud. So now it's going to be powered by Sonnet 4.5. Now, if you look at some of the other benchmarks, this model is state of the art, hands down. So we looked at Sui Bench Verified, but if you look at Agentic Terminal Coding, this is Terminal Bench. Again, it's state of the art. And the improvement is actually substantial. Now, on Agentic Tool Use TAR2 benchmark, again, it's state of the art in almost all categories probably except the retail one where Opus 4.1 is still the best model, but it's only by 0.6%. So 
So not a significant difference at all. Anthropic really has figured out a recipe of building great coding models. And it's also specifically at domains that are verifiable in nature. So for example, finance, law, medicine, and STEM, they show state-of-the-art performance. Now, the main usage is going to be how good this model is in your own application. So I highly recommend to test it out. But something I want to highlight, and they say that practically speaking, we have observed that it can maintain focus for more than 30 hours on complex multi-step tasks. This kind of breaks the pattern. So here is a plot from Matter where they are measuring the AI ability to complete long tasks. The theory is that every seven months, the duration of the task that an AI can complete doubles. But if you look here, GPT-5 was released August 2025. So that's almost a month ago. And it can do almost two hours of focus training. But now within a month, we have Sonnet 4.5 that can do 30 hours of focus training, which is kind of incredible, right? So it can really show you the acceleration that is happening when it comes specifically to software engineering. So we were expected to be able to complete around four hours of task somewhere in 2026, but now this model is already able to do 30 hours of focus training or for focused coding within a month. So we are on a crazy trajectory. Okay, so a few other capabilities when it comes to agentic coding. So Sonnet 4.5 can work independently for ours. We talked about this. And the most useful thing is going to be that it can focus on a few tasks at a time rather than trying to attempt everything all at once. That has been one of the biggest issue with cloud models. They try to do way too much and end up changing a lot of code base that is already working and sometimes adds a lot of code that is not useful at all, right? So hopefully with this, now it's going to be doing much more targeted changes. And I think people are going to start coming back to cloud code if it lives up to the expectation. Another thing is that it's context awareness. So cloud can now track its token usage throughout conversation, receiving updates after each tool call. This awareness helps prevent premature task abandonment and enables more effective execution on long running tasks. So they specifically are adding something called context awareness. Essentially, the model is now able to use its context window a lot more effectively if it's going through multi-turn conversation. So not only it can track the number of tokens it's going to be using, but it will also be able to remove things from context if they are not important anymore. Now, context awareness, I think, is going to be only available with extended thinking. So you will have to enable extended thinking in order to use these capabilities. So in the beginning of the conversation, you tell it how many tokens it has access to. So that's going to be the context window. And then based on that, it's going to keep track of how many tokens it's using at the moment or how many are remaining. And it's going to be a lot more token efficient. So hopefully this will also translate it to cost reduction as well. So Gemini, a couple of days ago, introduced a new version of 2.5 Flash and 2.5 Lite, which are a lot more context efficient or token efficient. So it gives you much better performance at a much lower token usage and hence token cost. And this is a trend that has been seen for a while now that the model providers are trying to create models that are a lot more token efficient, especially with the reasoning, because with reasoning, you are generating a lot more tokens. And hence, even if you reduce the cost, you will end up using more tokens. So you're going to be paying more for the same number of API calls. Now, it also has enhanced tool usage. So it can now effectively use tools when it's doing multiple parallel tool calls. And also this is their most aligned model to date. Safety is an integral part of the constitution of Anthropic and they really take it seriously. So if you look at the misaligned behavior, this model at the moment is the best aligned model, which is especially critical for regulated areas. As if you were working in finance, law, 
medicine, even general user behavior, you want to have a very well aligned model in enterprises, right? So Anthropic's focus has mostly been on enterprises and business customers or and coding. So it's very critical for them to have a very well aligned model. And it seems like with Sonnet 4.5, they are able to achieve it, which is pretty incredible. Now on this, the risk assessment framework, which they're calling AI safety levels. So this is level three, which also means that it might flag certain content when you are interacting with Sonnet 4.4, 4.5, but they have made it easy for user to continue any interrupted conversation with the Sonnet models. Now they are also releasing what they're calling Cloud Agent SDK. So this is built on top of Cloud Code. Here they say that we have solved hard problems, how agents should manage memory across long running tasks, how to handle permission systems that balance our autonomy with user control and how to coordinate sub agents working towards a shared goal. So this is going to be an SDK that you can use in your own applications for building multi-agent systems. Very similar to the agent SDK from OpenAI, but it can use cloud code as an orchestrator, right? So I'll probably have a closer look at this and maybe create more content on it. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel. They're also releasing Imagine with Cloud instead of planning a task well ahead of time. Now, Cloud is going to generate code or user interfaces for you and then iteratively refine it as it looks at its output that it's generating. This is, I think, an early preview. I probably want to have a look at it further before making some more content on it. Now, it's already available in Cloud, and I believe it's already available on Cloud Code as well. So I'll probably have another video in which I actually test the model out, but I wanted to create this quick update video on what is inside 4.5. So do let me know how your experience with Sonnet 4.5 is. Do you actually think it's a major upgrade? And I think this month is going to be pretty exciting because later, early next week, we're going to have a dev day from OpenAI where some very interesting things are expected. And later in the month, we're going to have Gemini 3. This might actually push some of these updates earlier. We'll have to see. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.